honestly the material is kind of like grandma floral okay wait why is that laying so nicely i have the new merit signature lips here final outfit i'm hot so i'm not even gonna bother with the jacket <laughs> we've got leo here i just got back from pilates i was like running in there they shut down one of the lanes on pch and i hadn't realized that or else i would have given myself more time to get there so i literally ran in just as class started and my teacher was like yeah you better come because i'm doing a jump class today because of you because the pilates teacher on wednesday knows that i love jump class so last week she was like i'm gonna do a jump class next week for you and i was like okay cool so like when i got stuck on pch i was like oh shit i can't miss this class and i was like so stressed but i made it just barely on time but anyways i am back home right now i took an earlier class today that was like the other reason why i was running down to the wire usually i take a class that's like an hour later so i have more time to like work and get things situated in the morning but i was a little bit more crunched on time this time around but i took an earlier class today because i'm actually going to a banquet with trevor today what is in here oh this just fell out of the box but yeah trevor's work is having a banquet today for the boys basketball team i think and i'm meeting him there later tonight for that so i just need to afford myself enough time to get ready that's why I went to the earlier class today but I just got in a package from David's bridal if you guys remember it was the vlog where I unboxed oh I have them here these sandals that I'm gonna wear to our friend's wedding I was talking about how my reception shoes from our wedding were like the perfect kind of like dressy sandal with a low wedge heel that would be great for Europe but they unfortunately broke in Vegas this was one of the options to replace them but these ended up being a little bit higher than what I was looking for but I do want to keep these because for our friend's wedding this is perfect but I did say that I had found another pair that was a near dupe to the ones that broke so they just came in right now and yeah these are these are pretty dang close they're just like a different shade of gold but pretty much the exact same design as what I had before which I think that the original ones that I had were from David's Bridal as well so it kind of makes sense that they would have had a dupe or an updated version but the ones that I had before were like a true yellow gold and these ones are more of a champagne -y color which is great because I feel like they're gonna be a little bit more neutral and go with more but yeah these are pretty damn spot on to the ones that I had before they were sling back as well the wedge height is about the same but yeah I love sandals like these because they're dressy but you can like wear them all night 
night like I said the ones that I had that were pretty much the exact same in construction I wore for our reception and I was able to like dance in them all night and I still had like some nice shoes on so I'm excited for these maybe I'll like wear these tonight and break them in not entirely sure I was actually leaning towards booties but I might change my outfit based on what came in my other package so sorry you guys i have another tiktok shop unboxing it's a problem <laughs> but i did order some new spring tops in this so i figured if i'm feeling it i might wear one tonight but there's a lot of tops in here okay first one this is the one that i was thinking i might do i don't want to go like too dressy last time i went to one of these banquets i was definitely like the dressiest one so I might turn it down a little bit tonight especially if i'm going to do rhinestone sandals this one is like a square neck light sage green top i was thinking of this with like my cargo skirt and then these sandals and then i can just throw on like a jacket over top or something like that but really cute just a good staple spring piece which is like kind of the theme of this is like staple spring pieces as like we move into the new season also michelle and i are shooting this weekend so i wanted to grab some like fresh pieces to shoot and style like this corset how pretty is this honestly the material is kind of like grandma floral but i feel like this kind of material in a corset totally works it doesn't feel dated and it doesn't feel like grandma because it is like a corset but look at the back on this how pretty is this ribbon on the back so gorgeous very fun so i'll probably shoot that this weekend and then oh i just got a pack of underwear honestly there's just really good deals for underwear on tiktok shop and i really like this style this is my second pack of it it's just this like cotton ribbed underwear it's very comfortable and it doesn't dig in or anything like that so i got it in a bunch of nude colors and a black and then this top is this a workout top this one might be yeah this is a workout top i think i already have one like this but it's fine when i do my spring cleaning and closet declutter in a few weeks i am gonna focus on cleaning out my workout stuff because i'm just like rotating new stuff in i'm sure you guys have noticed i've been getting more and more new workout pieces but this one is another one of those backless sports bras and then this one is in this kind of like medium gray then it has like the crisscross open back. Speaking of, this is the romper with the keyless back. So cute. This one goes way lower than the first one that I ordered. I got this one from a different company and it's a little bit different. I also wish I had sized down one or two. I think I got medium, but I honestly definitely should have at least gone small, if not extra small. The material on this is just so stretchy and I think just height wise, a small or extra small would have been better, but that's okay. It's not like I fell out of it or anything. I just like would have liked it a lot more snug. And then this top, this is so pretty. I actually have had this saved in my TikTok shop account for a little while, but it's kind of the same thing with the square neckline, but look at this print. It's like cream with this like blue village print or something like that, but I just thought it was really pretty. I actually have a bodysuit in the same print. I think this is from Cider. Oh, it doesn't say Cider on here, but Cider carries a lot of stuff in this print, so I feel like it probably is like a subdivision of Cider or Cider gets their stuff from there. And then, oh God, I did not realize how many tops I got oh okay perfect i've just been needing more basics that like i can throw on kind of like capsule wardrobe vibes so i just got this pack of cropped t-shirts so i have a gray white and then a black got true to size all of these are medium oh i got two of these sports bras which i think i actually technically got these in a pack but anyways here's the other one light powder blue again i think i actually already have a light powder blue of this so if you see me wearing either of these colors two days in a row it's because i have two of each i just really like that style of sports bra i don't mind having multiple oh my gosh did i get a three pack i got a three pack <laughs> okay well i am set on these backless sports bras we're all good the reason why i want so many of these is because a i like backless and then b i don't really do a lot of high impact anymore so i really like this style it works for me but i don't have a brown i for sure don't have a brown so this one is justified and then this is the last top in here hi buddy he is bored of me this one i think is another workout top yes it is but this one is so freaking cute but taking the pads out first we don't need those so this one's like a one shoulder sports bra crop top how cute like if you can imagine there you go just like that and then the back is open and it's just got like these straps going across this one is going to be a little bit more medium impact than like these ones not exactly like high impact or like a medium high impact but just like low to medium impact for this one and then lastly i'm excited to try these out we'll probably try these out in my next vlog because it's too late now like i've already woken up but these are overnight hair curlers i mentioned in one of my vlogs i am on a mission to find like the best overnight heatless curling method that way when we travel to europe i can put my hair up in a style overnight and then when we land just let my hair out and i'm good to go but these ones are heatless curling rods and they are like 
wired, I think, so they can kind of bend however you want to bend them. How do you do this? Oh, here we go. Then you clip to secure and you're supposed to like roll your hair down in this and then I think you clip it forward or you could do back I think it just depends on how you want your hair to fall and then this is how they advertise your hair is going to come out we will see if it actually does truthfully with this type of method I've seen the hair more turn out like more of a blowout which I absolutely would love so yeah I'll try these out in the next vlog probably I'll try them out for our shoot day but okay that is everything that came in the mail today so I am gonna put this all away I need to work on some stuff for a little bit and then we are gonna get ready together for this banquet Okay, hello. Time to get ready. I am actually going to try out a TikTok hack that, I mean, I don't want to call it viral. Like, it kind of is because, like, a lot of people are discussing it, but not a lot of people seem enthusiastic about it, but I am very, very curious. So, for primer, you're actually going to use oil and liquid blush, which is a very, very different technique for me. For the face oil, I'm actually going to use my Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. This is, like, an oil serum, so I think it'll work for this. I didn't want to go too oily because I am an oily girl, and also, to the foundation, I'm going to use is Merit as well so I feel like it'll just blend better but basically you're supposed to do this technique with an oil-based foundation and the only oil-based foundation I have are the Merit foundation sticks so it just kind of works out I'm keeping it in the family but I'm gonna go in with this elf camo blush and you're supposed to do like a decent amount and this is very pigmented I know that looks like a little bit but just give it a second so basically you just go in all over i might layer on a little bit more but you're just supposed to take it all the way around the temples it's supposed to look like a freaking tomato i'll go in with one more dot each side like i look sunburned right now but the reason why i want to try this technique is because you guys know i always complain like my blush just freaking disappears so i'm just curious to see if this will give me more of like a lasting rosy glow but okay I look sufficiently sunburnt <laughs> look at this it actually doesn't look as bad in camera as it does in real life in real life I look crazy but that's fine we're gonna keep moving along before I go in with my base I'm gonna do my brows really quick just because my brow stuff does pull up foundation I always have to lay down my brows first as I mentioned tonight I'm going to a banquet for Trevor's work and then actually our friend's birthday I don't know if it's actually today but his wife is throwing him a birthday party he told his wife that we would come after the banquet so we're gonna head there afterwards. So a very busy Wednesday night. Yeah, it's already pulled the blush up, so that's why I have to do this before foundation. So going in with foundation, I mix two colors. I need to order like a new one in these that's like in between these two, but I mix Sienna and Khaki. Khaki is like more of my base and also she's falling apart here. Yeah, I need a new one of these because I love these foundation sticks so much. But I'm just gonna kind of go all over. I want to do a decent amount just because this blush situation is intimidating me right now. So that's khaki. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of sienna just for a little depth. And then actually, this is not a step that she did, but I'm gonna do it because I've been liking doing this in between each step. Just a little spritz of setting spray. That'll help everything blend and then also set the makeup. So. Let's just work it in. Actually, I think, truthfully, she want concealer first, but it's fine. I don't think it really matters. Just using my Real Techniques blender to blend it in. Okay, wait, why is that laying so nicely? Do you guys see that? Like, in real life, this looks so good on my skin. Honestly, it looks like it's picking up on camera. Like, this looks so nice on my skin. What sorcery? is this oh my gosh anyways uh, what was i saying before i just got blown away by this i thought i was gonna like turn it all red and stuff but it actually blended nicely oh that's what i was saying i would have done a brush but because i was a little bit scared of the blush i did the sponge so i didn't soak up too much of the foundation but wow this foundation's laying so nicely do you guys see how like glowy and pretty my skin looks oh my god my foundation looks so smooth seriously what is this like okay girly was on to something everyone was giving her so much crap because i guess with the lighting that she had in her bathroom she still looked red but i saw a clip of her 
go out into the sun to show it off and it looks really good in the sun so I was like concerned it wasn't gonna look good in my bathroom but I do have filming lighting in here so I think that's why it's showing up better on camera than hers did but wow look at my skin but the reason why you want to do an oil-based foundation with this is because if you're using oil as your primer and you go in with a water-based foundation on top, it's not going to mix together. It's going to give you texture. It's going to separate all of that stuff. So if you're going to try this technique, definitely check the ingredients on your foundation. Anyways, I need concealer. Just a little bit on the inner corners. Outer nose forehead i am going to go over stuff with powder so it's going to tone down a little bit of this radiance but not a lot but i'm just going to let the concealer dry for a little bit so next up i am just going to bronzer taking the say sun melt i use the shade tan bronze then i'm just going to stipple this that is blending so nicely i mean i know it looks intense because i just applied it but like when i started patting it into the base, it's working so well into this base. Look at that. I am sold. Love it. I am going to do my powder foundation. So if things look intense, you guys know that's like my vibe. And then I like melt it all together with the powder foundation at the end. Blend in my concealer. And I am going to do another TikTok technique that I learned where you're actually going to let the concealer sit i'm not gonna set it right away because wet concealer plus immediately going in with powder kind of actually makes a paste that settles into your fine lines a little bit more just gonna wait it out and then pat out whatever creasing has happened which usually isn't much because i'm using shape tape but i cannot get over my base everything looks so seamless very very impressed okay let me blend this all together taking the fenty powder i'm just gonna stipple it on avoiding the under eye area because I want to set that with loose powder. I'm seriously so shook by this. Oh my god, I forgot to contour my nose. <laughs> just gonna take whatever's left over. Just give me a little shadow. I don't really go hard on the nose contour anyways, so that's good. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this and start on my eyes, which I plan on leaving pretty simple. So I'm just going all over it with this color right here, just like this medium taupey color. Then defining the outer V with this like chocolate brown color, just messily. I'm not trying to make it a crease cut or anything. I just want a little bit of depth in those corners Then drag whatever's left over through the crease. And then taking my finger, I'm gonna take this top shimmery brown color and just press it onto the lid. Again, just keeping it more on the simple side. And now I'm gonna go in with powder using the Airspun powder from Cody. I'm just gonna tap out any creasing that's happened, which again, is not much because it's shape tape and just take a little bit of powder and go ahead and set that and clean up this outer edge too while I'm there. Same thing on the other side. Then just powder down anywhere else that could use a little extra like my forehead because I'm a shiny gal. Just filling in my eyebrows a little bit in a couple of sparse spots. And last time for setting. Shoot, actually I meant to do a little bit of blush. Like we have the blush underneath, but just a little bit on top. That was way too much on the side. Like this stuff is like crazy pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a brush just to soak that up. There we go. Now I've got like a double layer of blush going. Blush should not leave my face. <laughs> and also, while this setting spray is still a little bit wet, I'm just going to highlight a little bit. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I like this because it gives just the right amount of shine. It's very natural, but still like packs a little bit of a punch, as you guys can see. Not anything overwhelming, but just a pretty glow. And then let me finish up my eyes. Going back into the palette, taking the chocolate brown and the taupe color. And I'm just going to brush that along my lower lash line. Then I'm just gonna do eyeliner and mascara and then I'll come right back. I'm gonna let the camera rest for a little bit and then when we come back we'll finish up lips because I'm gonna try out these new Merit Signature lips in the new matte formula. Sorry about the jump scare with my lips. I decided to go ahead and give myself a lip liner with Mauve from Sachu. These are their stain lip tattoo lip liners. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel that off. 
So that is just gonna be my lip liner. I decided to do that so that it just like stays on for a while. But like I said, I have the new Merit Signature lips here. These are a lightweight matte lipstick. They give me two different colors. The first one that they gave me, I think this is the one I'm gonna wear tonight. I was originally gonna do the red one, but I decided to do a green outfit and I just don't wanna do like Christmas theme. But anyways, the first one is classic and I just love the packaging on Merit lipsticks. It's like simple but luxurious, but this classic color is more of like a nudie pink, very neutral. You can wear this as an everyday color. You can wear it for literally any type of look. They also sent me it in the color Power, which is a nice neutral mid-tone red. I'll go ahead and swatch this one so you guys can see it. Ooh, this formula is really creamy, but yeah, just a perfect neutral red. This is the type of red that will look good on multiple skin tones. We're going to go in with classic like i said i'll go ahead and swatch it so you guys can see them next to each other just two really pretty shades both of these are definitely staples in any lipstick collection but i also love this detail on merit lipsticks it actually has the word merit stamped like about halfway down but let's just go ahead and apply i'm just gonna pop down a little bit Oh yeah, this is very, very creamy. I always get scared with matte lipsticks because like sometimes they can be a little bit too dry so they don't like apply evenly and they might like catch on the texture on your lips. But this one definitely like glides on really nicely. Oh, that is so pretty. Ooh, especially with that lip liner underneath. That looks so nice. I really like that a lot. And also because of the creaminess, this feels so comfortable. Again, when you're talking about like matte lips and stuff, usually I get a little bit scared with them that it's gonna feel like my lips are really dried out, that they look and feel really, really crusty. But this one is actually so smooth and it feels like it's almost hydrating my lips. And like it says in the name, it definitely is a lightweight formula. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey or anything like that. But in particular, this shade Classic, this is such a perfect like everyday shade. Like if you go into an office every day and you want like a matte lipstick that's gonna last all day but still be very comfortable this is gonna be really really nice for that or if you're like getting dressed up for a date night or something this red is absolutely beautiful there it is again on the swatch just would look absolutely stunning on most skin tones which is usually very hard with a red but anyways if you guys want to shop these new matte lipsticks I will have them linked in the description down below and also too don't forget if it's your first time ordering from Merit Beauty every single first order comes with their complimentary bag this bag is so cute I actually do store my extra products in it like products that I want to keep close by in case I just want to judge up my look a little bit and it ties on the top which I think is just such a cute style I think even if you don't want to use this as a makeup bag this as a little like casual clutch would be such a chic edition 10 outfit so again if you want to check out these new matte signature lips they will be linked in my description below and if you order directly from Merit for the first time you do get the complimentary bag but makeup and hair is done I just did a very very quick like 10 minute or less faux blowout but i actually need to walk leo i'm gonna go ahead and do that before i get dressed and then we will head out of here to meet up with trevor and also to just one more time look at the base on my face this technique or hack or whatever you want to call it i'm speechless over how flawless my skin looks final outfit i'm hot so i'm not even gonna bother with the jacket but I have my cider skirt which is like coming loose here but we're just gonna live with it for a day just the stitching on it isn't the best so one of the clasps is coming loose but anyway cider cargo skirt i decided to switch into this like bright green skims long sleeve bodysuit i did not like the way that the top from tiktok shop looked with this outfit so i swapped to this and i like this a lot more i have my new bag and then also the david's bridal sandals so anyways that is the outfit oh and then also i threw on oopsies come on come on I threw on the little Bottega dupes for my earrings. Oh, also too, on the second holes, I think that I'm okay to switch them out, but I'm actually just gonna wait until April, just a little bit extra. And then probably the first time I switch them out and do an earring stack will be the wedding. But yeah, a little update on that. But anyways, that is the outfit and I'm gonna head out of here. Your heart aches and pain will all heal with time, girl. Your love is mine if we play.